Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the live stream. Or if you're watching this not on the live stream, so if you just randomly click this video or got a notification about this video that there's like Walmart and Microsoft are joining, then you're probably watching it through Keith Condensed, which is a, a little like snippet of the actual live stream. So on the live stream, I do a, a season video and then I also do this Keith Condensed and then I do open it up for like a Q&A and uh, just kind of chitter, chatter, whatever this the stream wants to talk about that night is what we kind of talk about. So it, it, it kind of is uh, free flowing more or less some nights. So today is, is Article Review Tuesday, and the article that I have is an article where CNN, it was, I think, reported by CNN, where they report that Walmart and Microsoft are joining in the fight against Amazon. Now, I don't know if this is, like, completely true because, you know, fake news. <laughs> I don't know if they're, like, specifically, like, teaming up to fight Amazon. Uh, in here, he, he basically talks about... That they that they would like to join Walmart wants to join with with Amazon, because you know that would be the the best thing possible. They have the the biggest basically cloud computing, analytical service for online retail. Like they're the giant of, of e-commerce, so they're like we can't just like join. We can't just partner with Amazon. That would be dumb of us, even though that would be the best idea for us is to utilize their systems, their cloud computing, their analytics, all that kind of stuff. So, hey, let's just go with second best, which is Microsoft. So they, they plan on using uh, Microsoft's machine learning and other things, uh, their cloud computing, all that kind of stuff to kind of customize the process for each and every individual that goes to walmart.com. So I, I don't know. I, I mean, frame skipping, yeah, it, it happens and then it'll kind of resettle back down. So it's just, it just kind of a... A thing that happens so in here he kind of talks about how they'll utilize this cloud computing then second of all he also kind of talks about other things that they've been rolling out with walmart where they announced like that they will now let customers like order items basically via te text message which i think is pretty convenient and then also he, he he addresses microsoft in here about how they've been microsoft has been trying to like educate and let retailers know like hey you might want to use technology in the e-commerce realm like you know people do go online on their computers you might want to like consider using some technology to make that happen like the internet's not what we used to to think it was i'm, I'm sitting here thinking like you know that's great that walmart and, and microsoft partnered up they've also partnered with like macy's with their virtual shopping assistant uh mars drinks to create like smart vending machines which i think is pretty cool and then also Marks and Spencers, which is in the United Kingdom, a department store. I've never heard of them. That's probably why. So it's cool that they've already kind of, I guess, had some success in partnerships with these other stores. So I think that it will be a, a good idea for Walmart to partner with Microsoft. However, does that mean that they're going to be able to take out the giant called Amazon? And I think that the answer is undeniably no. First of all, I have a biased opinion on both companies. Uh, I am a, a somewhat of a shareholder. I think I hold maybe like 500 bucks in, or less, a little bit less than that, like $300, three to $400 in Amazon. Uh, so I'm a little bit biased in that aspect, but also I'm biased in the fact that I've had bad issues with both of them. And as of right now, it seems like I've been having a lot more issues with Walmart than I have been with Amazon. I think Amazon, from the customer standpoint, from the customer service standpoint, Amazon has the e-commerce thing figured out. Like they they have some of the best customer service, return policies, all that kind of stuff as far as e-commerce goes. Walmart, on the other hand, I don't think that they have good customer service. I, I, I just have never got to experience great customer service at Walmart. I, I You get customer service by all means, but sometimes it's not, it's not the best customer service or not offering customer service is customer service in and of itself. You know what I'm saying? So I, I haven't utilized Walmart's customer service in regards to specifically like shipping, picking up and that kind of stuff. I have picked up one thing from Walmart in store that I ordered online. It was super lame. Uh, and then another time I seen that they had something online and so I went into the store to go buy it because I was like, oh, instead of buying it online, I'll just run up to the store so I don't got to wait five hours for them to bring it from the actual location from the shelf to over to pick up and then I can go pick it up. 
So I walked in there, and the price was like $20 more expensive in store instead of buying it online. And I was like, what the heck? And so I asked the, the lady, and she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The only thing we price match is our, own, is our store online. And I'm like, why the heck is there different prices to begin with? And she was like, oh, well, uh, I don't know. That's just the way that they want it. And I'm like, you work with a company you don't even know why? Are you kidding me? Like, what? What, what you don't know, educate you or something? So, not not that I hate Walmart. If you work for them, great. Um, by all means. There's issues, just like we know there's issues with every job. I don't know what it's like to be an employee. All I know is what it's like to be from a customer standpoint. However, Amazon, from the business side of it, if you're like a third party trying to sell on Amazon, I've had terrible experience with that. And so, I think that that might be Amazon's Achilles heel is for a company to go after those third party sellers, retailers, distributors, whatever you want to call it, the small mom and pop shop that's selling on Amazon is to go after those people and say, hey, we do a better job at helping businesses sell on this platform while still offering great customer service, two day shipping and so on and so forth. So I think that that if a company is looking to like fill that space, that's what they need to do. They need to focus on offering better, better incentives for businesses to switch over to their platform because without businesses that sell on Amazon, Amazon pretty much doesn't have anything. Like they got e-commerce, but basically they're just a distributor. So if no one wants to sell to Amazon, then they, they ain't going to generate no sales. Joe says apparently walmart.com is run by a completely separate, completely separate from the retail. It's moronic. Yes, I know. That's what I say. Uh, that's why I, I don't, I don't understand Walmart. My personal opinion, I think Walmart's really making some last ditch efforts to make some moves to capture at least some of the pie in that online retail space because Amazon makes up, I think about 40 to 50% of the actual space and Walmart probably doesn't have near that much. So I think that Walmart is like making last ditch efforts to grab that space because if you look at it, they understand that that's where people wanna go. That's where everybody's moving. And if we can grab some of it, we can get custom relationships that are online like Amazon has over the past 10 years, then hey, that's great for us and we can stay in business. However, I don't see that happening. I I don't know. I think that Walmart will, will always be the brick and mortar store. I don't see them being the Walmart of the online world. I don't think that, that that space exists for them anymore. I think that they lost it 10 years ago when they should have probably purchased Amazon and they didn't really care about them because Amazon was pretty much a nobody selling books. That That's my thoughts and opinions. Feel free to let me know what you guys think. What do you guys think this means for Walmart moving forward? Do you think it's a great idea for them to pair with Microsoft to utilize the cloud computing, the technology that Microsoft has? Or do you think that maybe it's just a last ditch effort for them to try and rally the troops to get some online sales so that way it can show the shareholders like, hey, this thing is working out. Stay with us. Continue to drive the price up so that way we can be more sustainable and still make money. I would love to know your guys' thoughts. Feel free to let me know down in the comments. And like I always say, Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it.